Now that you've had some experience using both trigonometry and Pythagoras' theorem, we're going to have a look at some contextual engineering problems where trigonometry and Pythagoras' theorem can be used. Now the questions that we're going to be looking at today are actually available on the Engineers Academy study platform, and there really is no trick to answering these. But what we need to do before we start approaching the problem is to look for the triangles. So in this particular question it says, given the information below, calculate the actual distance between the centres of the two holes. So what we're assuming here is that we've got a machined plate and we want to know the actual distance between here and here, the distance between the two holes. But if we look at the information that, that's given, it tells us the distance A, which is the horizontal distance between the two holes, and it tells us the distance B, which is the vertical distance. So in essence, what we have here is we have a triangle. And that triangle is a right angle triangle, therefore we know trigonometry and Pythagoras' theorem can both be used. We know that this length here is A, that represents the horizontal distance between the two holes, and we know this distance here B, the vertical distance. And what we're trying to find is this distance C here. Now hopefully you can see how this really is a Pythagoras' theorem question, because we know two sides, and we're trying to find the missing side, and we don't have any information about the angles. Therefore, we could apply Pythagoras' theorem to this, where c squared equals a squared plus b squared. The key to solving this problem is first identifying where the triangles are. Let's take a look at another example. Now, although the structure of the question looks entirely different, the context is still the same. We're going to look for triangles, we're going to decide whether we can apply Pythagoras' theorem or trigonometry to the problem, and then we're going to go about solving the problem. Now in this question it says, given the information below, calculate the overall length of the component. Well what we can see here is that the length C is already given, and that is the distance from the left hand side of the component to the edge of this shoulder here. Okay, so we already know that distance. What we don't know as yet is this distance here. We need to know that distance and add that to C in order to get the overall length of the component. Now just for the purpose of labelling this diagram up, I'm going to call that distance E. So I need to find distance E and I'm looking for a triangle. Well, Once again, hopefully you can see we have a triangle here, a right angled triangle, which I'm just going to sketch a little bit larger underneath. OK, so next we can attach some information to this triangle. We know that we're trying to find length E. Well, length E is this distance here. And we know this distance here. Now, just take a little bit of care here. If the overall distance here is D, then the distance from the centre line to the outside edge is just half of D, or D over 2. So we know that distance there. Now we also have some information about an angle on this diagram. We have some information that tells us the internal angle here is 49 degrees. That angle and that angle are the same, 49 degrees. Therefore, by mirroring this, because this is a cylindrical component and is a direct mirror, if the angle that I've just identified is 49 degrees, then that means this angle here also must be 49 degrees. So I'm going to add that to my diagram underneath, 49 degrees. And now all we have is a triangle where we know one length, we know this length here, we know the angle, we know this angle here, so therefore we can use trigonometry to find length E. Once we've found length E, we can add it to length C and it will give us the total length of that component. So it really is a case of identifying the triangles and identifying whether Pythagoras' theorem or trigonometry are applicable. We're just going to look at one more example. Now this time we have a question involving a Venturi duct. I'm going to begin by reading the question and adding some additional information to my diagram. So first of all it says the Venturi duct shown below has an inlet diameter of 19 centimetres. Well we've got the direction of flow is this way, therefore the inlet is 19 centimetres. It goes on to say, and an outlet diameter of 55 centimetres. So that there is going to be our outlet, inlet to outlet. 
It then says, using the additional information given below the diagram, calculate the length of the outlet section of the duct L2. So it wants us to find this distance here, L2. Well, hopefully you can see that L2 is going to be L minus L1 minus this distance here. I'm just going to call that X for the time being. Okay, so L2, the thing we're trying to find, is the overall length minus L1 minus X. And that will leave us with L2. So really what this question is asking us to do is to first of all determine this distance here, X. L1 and L are given. So L minus L1 minus the distance X will give us L2. So how do we find the distance X then? Well, let's look more closely here because we have a triangle. Okay, so let's look at what additional information we have here. We know that the outlet to the duct is 55 centimetres. Therefore, we can determine the distance from the centre line to the outside edge because it's going to be half of 55 or 27.5. And we also know that the inlet to the duct is 19 centimetres. Therefore, we can determine the distance from the centre line to the outside edge on that side. And that's going to be, in this instance, 9.5 centimetres. Now, hopefully you can see from inspection there, then, this distance here is going to be 27.5, the distance from the centre line to the outside edge, minus 9.5, the distance from the centre line to the outside edge at the inlet. I'm going to transfer that information onto a larger sketch just so we can see this in a little more detail. We know the angle theta given in the question is 22 degrees. We know this distance here is 27.5 minus 9.5 taken from the distance from the centre line to the outside edge at the outlet minus the distance from the centre line to the outside edge of the inlet. Now 27.5 minus 9.5 is 18. Therefore, this distance here is 18 centimetres. The distance that we're trying to find here is our distance x. And our distance x can be added to that triangle also. So what we have now is we have a triangle. We know one length, we know one angle, and we're trying to find another length. Therefore, we can use trigonometry to find the length x, and once we have the length x, we can work back over in order to find what the question's asking for, which is L2. Once again, just a reminder, the key to answering these questions successfully is identifying where the triangles are and using either Pythagoras' theorem or trigonometry to find the missing information before solving the problem.